Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I will open up a chapter on attacking your home routers and not only home routers but routers in general. Why is this important? Well, routers are the first line of defense for any major network out there and if you can break into them you generally can do pretty much whatever you want on the network. You can actually exclude people from the firewall rules on the network and access them directly as well. That can be a painful experience for anyone on the other side. You can also change the DNS settings. Uh, you can set up a you can set up proxies or something of a kind redirection of traffic. You can serve them whatever uh, information you want because for all intents and purposes you are able to decide on what is what. So when a router requests a URL you can tell it well it's on this IP address or it's on that IP address or you need to go here or you need to log in here before you can go there or whatever. It provides for all sorts of shenanigans. Now before we begin I would like you all to go ahead and open up your web browser. You will need two websites nmap.org and exploit database. I have opened up both of these websites before but we haven't actually we haven't actually went over them, we haven't actually used much from these websites, from all the vast resources that they have to offer, and if you wish to follow this tutorial through and do the things that I'm doing, you will need to modify your home networks, to an, you will need to modify your commands to an extent, and you will need to uh, just pay attention at what you are using, primarily because I have a router that is set up in my home for the purposes of this tutorial that I have configured for the purposes of this tutorial but your home routers are likely to be different and provided of course that you own your own home router and that you are you legally can actually do whatever you want to it because not all telecoms allow that uh, you can you are then feel for you can then feel free to play around with it and see what you can do you can lock it yourself know the password but then you can try to break it, break into it. That's one of very good exercises. Sometimes you won't be able to break into it. There simply won't be any vulnerabilities out there and you won't have a suitable target for social engineering or anything of a kind. But uh, more often than not, what you are able to do is pull credentials from your router, from the router without actual authentication. These are also some of the exploits that usually are referred to by link traversal and by modifying the URL requests of the HTTP server of the web server of the router you are able to pull certain information from it which ordinarily would not be available. Now a key thing to mention here is that it is a lot easier to break into the home routers as it is as opposed to breaking into the routers of bigger companies whose networks are protected by such firewalls. Uh, primarily because those routers and the companies they are maintained, somebody takes care of them, somebody takes care of the updates and so on and so forth, while on the other hand the home routers, I mean how many, be honest with yourselves again and how many of you actually conduct upgrades of firmware, of firmware on your routers and usually if there's one exploit if you don't update it it's gonna stick around there for a long line of years to come. Also if you're wondering why should you attack home routers as opposed to attacking for example companies, organizations or something of a kind, well if you are conducting a pen testing exercise, a pen test, if you're providing a pen testing service and if you are attempting to prove that a network is vulnerable of a certain company who has hired you, you might not be able to attack it directly, but you might be able to uh, attack the employees home routers where you can actually gather information on them and later on utilize that information in order to break into the routers on the main network within the building of the company. Anyway, as I said, if you have a permission on your home router, feel free to play around with it. If not, then don't. Uh, feel free to buy a router somewhere for 20 bucks, something of a kind, and you can set up a pretty decent lab at home. If you want to figure out what the you, your home router's IP is, as before, just type in route, and after route, nothing really, just press enter. You will get default gateway. It's 192.168.11. If you go ahead and copy that, I'm just going to start map scan of it and map and 
paste this, give me full robust output. So while it's doing that, let's just go over to the, our browser. And here I, I actually already have it up here, I've tried it, if I just reload it. You see, it says here, a username and password are being requested at this IP address. This site says, and whoever made this router is a true genius, because it immediately gives me the brand, not only the brand, but it actually gives me the model number of the router. I mean, this is, uh, this is a technique called banner grabbing, so, or at least it falls into that category, I would say. Uh, you just, I've, I can just see the model number here in a clear text, quite literally. And of course, when I know this, I don't need to perform some complex nmap scans to figure it out. Rather, instead, I can just do this, copy, cancel, go over to the exploits database, click on search, it says here free text search, control V, search, and there we go. It says CRF vulnerability. Let's see what this one has to offer. It says introduction, TP-Link, something, description of the vulnerability, and look at the description. You can easily change the default user's admin password by the default router page listening on port 80. In here, you, can, uh, you the get, will change the password for you, and the, post and the post request method is not needed for changing the router pass. Excellent. So through a simple GET request, you can change the default admin's password, which is a bit ridiculous. And here is all the, here's the exploit, and here is pretty much everything that you need to do. That's it. Nothing, nothing else. Uh, here it's completely described and what you, and how to implement it and so on and so forth. But keep in mind, uh, that just by that just because there's only one vulnerability with the exact specific name of this router that does not mean that that is the only vulnerability that applies to that router always and always this is a good practice open up your another window type in the model number and type in vol vulns there we go press enter uh, t -t 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 Okay, let's use so okay I have CSRF vulnerability uh, listed here but let's see this one what do we got here excellent so here is another one uh, it says uh, default admin credentials Web interface default. If you wish, to, if you request, there we go. So this is a again a modified URL request. Let me just show you what I mean. I would of course do this in a different manner, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this manually. Slash rom dash zero. Ah, because I'm a genius who typed a dot. Excellent, so it says problem loading the page, unable to load it, it, but see what I got. I am able to download the ROM0 uh, file and save it to my computer. From that point on, I just need a program which would read through it and interpret it for me to be able to read it and get the pass and get the credentials from it. I will demonstrate this in the follow-up tutorial, but for the time being, I just wanted to show you uh, how you can banner grab and then search and the places that you should search. So you see it's not actually listed here, it's probably listed under a different router name, probably just TP-Link TD, but it doesn't matter. So in the follow-up tutorial I will show you how we can break into this router of mine that I have set up for this tutorial by utilizing the ROM0 download vulnerability, let's call it so, and actually reading from it. We're gonna need some tools here in order to be able to interpret it. In any case, I bid you farewell and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.